Okay, so we start with the past. Now, in the past, we have the Three of Pentacles. Now, with the Three of Pentacles, it's a very, very positive card, particularly with regard to work and career questions. But it's a good overall card that you are, in general, doing very well. So if you see this card, it's showing that the people around you appreciate you and your efforts. And they notice the quality of the work you did, even if you did not get paid for it. This card is showing that you kept doing what you were doing as you were on the very right track. Although there was always room for improvement, you didn't need to scrap something and start again. And this card is paired with the Two of Cups. Okay, so the Two of Cups, it often refers to romantic partnership, but that is not the only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. In general, this card says that things are likely to be going well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So with these two cards paired together, uh, basically it's letting you know that you were doing well in the past overall, especially with work and career, and that if you were in a romantic partnership, it just speaks of balance, friendship, and joy. So in the past, you had a really great situation. Now let's move on to your present, starting with the Page of Swords. So Page of Swords is a court card, which can sometimes stand for an actual person in our lives. If so, in this case, the page will represent a person who is much younger or slightly slightly younger than you. They'll, they'll probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, on the darker end of the spectrum. So hair on the darker end of the spectrum, but it does not have to be. Uh, let's see, well, the pages, they often indicate that a message is coming. In this instance, it may not be what you're hoping to hear. In general, the Page of Swords tells us that you may be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or in general, stepping on toes of others. You may need to study the body language of others and consider how well you do or not accept constructive consider criticism from others. You are likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy. Use it wisely. Okay, and this card is paired with the Tower card. Now with the Tower card, as you can see, it's showing that you're trying to hold too tightly to the status quo which can be disastrous now. It's important to roll with the changes. It's very likely that some people or situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Just keep in mind that this does not have to be dire. Change is the nature of life. And trying to prevent it is like trying to row upstream without a paddle. If you have been building castles in the air, this may be the time that some of them came crashing down. That's only a problem if you let it be. 
you will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. So dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality too. So with these two cards paired together, with the Page of Swords, a message should be coming your way soon. And it may not be what you want to hear. So it could, it could be from a younger person or someone younger than you. And then we have the tower. Um, so the message, in, in regards to the message, it's probably about something that you're building. That may, may not stand solid. It may come apart. Or it may not be standing on solid ground. So the, the message should be about that. But the tower is not a bad thing because it lets you know that dreaming is important. But it's also important to be living in reality too. So that's something to think about. Okay, so we'll move on to the challenge. Okay, now the challenge starts with the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords usually brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. The Knights can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It also points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at its peak. If you are waiting for news from someone or something, you are likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you are unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. That's a good thing. So go after your heart's desire. And this card is paired with the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant is very much about doing the right thing. You may be struggling with an issue and are unsure about what is right for you to do. Know that the answers are within you. Remember that the right thing is what is right for you also. This is also a card that is very much about spirituality, everything from traditional religion to earth-centered spirituality and any other spiritual notion that you can conceive of. There may be a tension between your ideal of spirituality and the right thing and the ideals of others around you. So stand up for your own beliefs. The rules and the system of doing things are probably playing a major role now. So rituals of any sort will be helpful to you now even if it's just a movie with friends every third Saturday. So with these two cards paired together, the Knight of Swords is saying that news from someone is likely to be coming your way and it should be something desirable, but with the hair of thought, it's saying stick to your spirituality and religious beliefs, regardless of what the news is. Remember that the right thing is what is right for you also. So it's about doing the right thing when the message comes your way. And that will be the challenge. And then we move on to the outcome. When we start with the Eight of Swords. Now when the Eight of Swords appear, as you can see in this card, it's showing that you could be holding yourself back because of your fear moving into the future. Or because you are worried or wary of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. 
What you need to do is think through what is that you're afraid of. Okay? So the truth of the situation are probably less much frightening than your mind is making it out to be. And then this card is paired with the moon card. Now the moon card, it's showing you're definitely in a more psychic and intuitive phase than usual. So it will be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions even if you don't know where they're coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So if you feel you can't trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut if you are waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. Try to be patient. With these two cards paired together, it's basically letting you know that you're holding on or holding yourself back because of fear of moving into the future or because you fear getting hurt by a new situation but it's paired with the moon card. So because of that fear, it's probably because you're feeling psychic and intuitive at the time. So it's important for you to just trust your instincts, instincts and impressions. Okay, so your fears, they could be right because you're feeling so intuitive that you might be on, on point. And that will be the outcome. Okay, Leos, I hope this resonated. And as you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.